welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason. This is your daily relaxation hypnosis session for stress, anxiety, and panic attacks. So I'd like to start by just getting in touch with how you physically feel. So before we start the session, I'd like you, if you can, please find a comfortable place to lie down or sit in a comfortable chair. Making sure that if you do fall asleep, the chair will support you. So, and also the bed or sofa, wherever you decide to lay down. And now, Close your eyes if it's safe for you to do so. Only ever watch or listen to my sessions if it's safe to close your eyes. And just get in touch with how you feel in the top of your head, your forehead. eyelids, eyeballs, muscles around your eyes, your mouth, tongue, your jaw, your throat, the sides of your neck and the back of your neck. shoulders, the tops of your arms, your elbows, your forearms, your wrists, your hands and your fingers. your chest, your stomach, your upper back, the middle of your back, your lower back, your hips, buttocks, your groin, your thighs, your knees, your shins, your calf muscles, your ankles, the tops of your feet, the bottom of your feet, your heels and your toes. Just being aware without trying to cause or force relaxation because relaxation can't be forced. It can happen naturally. It can be caused, of course, by using various relaxation techniques. But it needs to be gentle. You need to be kind to yourself. Showing yourself love.
again, I'd just like you to focus from the top of your head all the way down to your toes. This time, I'm not going to mention the individual parts. I'm just going to focus on the main chunks. So focus on your head, from the top of your head to your neck. Focus in from your neck all the way down to your hips, the whole of your torso, including your arms and hands. And now focus in from your hips all the way down your legs and your feet and toes. Just noticing them, just being aware, mindful of how you feel. Now imagine there's a small hole in the top of your head And you can just go inside your own head and notice how your brain feels. As you move around your skull, just notice how it feels. Maybe you can visualize it. Being gentle and kind and loving. Just noticing how your brain is inside your skull. And now you can leave your skull sealing up that hole on the top of your head. Now you can just make a small hole in your mind making it in your back, the top of your back. And you can just go inside your body, your torso. And you can just move around your body where your lungs are, your heart, your kidneys, your liver, your spine, just in your mind, just traveling around your abdominal region, and just being aware of how those parts feel as you just gently, lovingly explore the contents of your torso. Just being aware of your heart beating and pumping blood around your body, that healing liquid that gives you life. Maybe you can just enter inside your heart just feel what it's like to be connected to the power of your body, the power source, as you gently observe and lovingly become part of yourself and maybe flowing with the blood being part of the blood as it flows to the different parts of your body and you can travel with that blood.
traveling down your legs into your feet just seeing how it all connects how your heart and your toes connect and you can travel now from your heart into your fingers Noticing how your heart and your arms, your hands and your fingers connect. And now you can travel to your brain, the place where you already were before. This time, instead of being outside your brain, you can travel into your brain with the blood that healing nectar of life which is your blood which is you you are your blood traveling inside your body traveling into your brain inside your brain just observing gently and lovingly inside your brain noticing the calmness that you can experience as well as being aware of the connectivity of everything within you your mind, your brain, your heart, your feet, your toes, your fingers and everything is all connected within you. Everything has its place and its role. And you're part of that. In fact, you're all of that. Because this is you. How amazing are you? have all this happening for you all day every day from the minute you're born your body is working just for you to give you life And this kind of awareness is maybe a bit unusual in some ways. But there's something about being aware and acknowledging that there's more going on that perhaps we notice on a day-to-day -day basis. There's so much more happening. can be quite a wonderful experience to actually take some time out and notice and acknowledge and maybe even thank those parts of your body so that's what we're going to do now we're going to go from the top of your head all the way down to your toes and we're going to thank that part of your body just say thank you acknowledging and thanking each part of your body for doing all that it does for you each and every day and has done from the moment you were born. So this is an opportunity for you to show your appreciation and love towards yourself. Starting with the top of your head, 
thanking your skull, the top of your head, the sides and the back of your head, the whole of your skull that protects your brain. Just say thank you. Now focus in on your eyes. Such an important, amazing thing to have. So thank your eyes now. Thank you. Moving down to your nose. Thanking your nose for the ability to smell and to be able to breathe through your nose. So thanking your nose for all that it does for you. Thank you. Thanking your mouth and your tongue, your teeth, your jaw, your gums, the whole of your mouth. Thanking it for allowing you to eat, allowing you to chew, allowing you to swallow, allowing you to talk, allowing you to sing and communicate and to taste. Thank you in your mouth now. Thank you. Moving down to your throat. And thanking your throat for all that it does. It allows the oxygen to move from your mouth and nose into your lungs also allows the food and liquid to move from your mouth into your body to be used for energy and to heal your body. So thank in your throat now. Thank you. Now focus in on your ears. Being aware of just how important your ears have been from the minute you were born. And thanking your ears for being able to hear, being able to communicate, being able to enjoy music and other auditory things. And you can say thank you now to your ears. Thank you. Now as we focus on the chest. Focus in on your lungs and your heart. And those things that give you life. Oxygen and blood. The life force which allows you to enjoy being alive and also enjoy helping other people. So you can say thank you to your heart and to your lungs and your chest. Thank you. And now you can move down. 
Say thank you to your liver, to your kidneys. And all the other major organs in the side your body, you can thank. Thank you for keeping you alive. Thank you for allowing you to be healthy. Now, Thank you. You can move down to your stomach, abdominal region, your digestive parts. Such an important part. Digest the food where the food is converted and moved around and also moved to be removed from your body. And thanking that part of your body for keeping you alive all these years. For allowing you to live. Allowing you to digest your food. Allowing the waste to be separated and removed from your body. Allowing that food that you eat to be converted into energy. And used to heal your body. And to keep all of the major organs functioning. And you can say thank you now thank you moving down to your groin this is a part that quite often is left out in relaxation sessions just because of it being connected with uh, sex and adult topics and you know but the fact is if it wasn't for this part of your body the human race would be extinct so let's thank this part Let's fact not just for the sexual part, the sexual functioning, but also being able to urinate, being able to get rid of that waste. Allowing you to have a healthy life also to experience pleasure physical and emotional pleasure and closeness as well as reproducing and creating more human beings to love moving down to the part of your body, the lower part, 
your legs, your feet. Although this isn't internal organs, the legs and feet are just so important for your life. And hopefully you've lived a life with full ability to use your legs and feet. Of course, some people haven't. So therefore we can feel lucky to have that ability. We can feel grateful for having the ability to walk and to feel. And maybe you use your legs for more things than just walking. Maybe you're involved in some kind of sport which requires the use of your legs so you can be thankful of that as well so let's thank your legs now thank you lastly let's thank your spine that part of you that connects everything together connects your brain to all those parts of your body Thank your spine now for all that it's done for you from the moment you were born. Thank you. And there's something quite nice about taking a bit of time out to just thank those parts of your body. I know that I haven't focused on every single part. So maybe you can do that yourself. You can fill in the gaps if there are any. You can notice what parts you wish to focus on the parts that you wish to thank the most. And I'll be quiet for 30 seconds. And you can do that now. Go through the different parts of your body that you appreciate the most. Focus on them. And then just thank them. Now. Okay, this now brings us to the end of this daily relaxation session. I'm going to count from one to three. When I get to three, you can open your eyes feeling alert, aware, full of energy and completely relaxed.
one, two, becoming more aware of your surroundings and how you physically feel, knowing that every time you hear my voice or see my videos, you will naturally and instantly feel relaxed. Three, open your eyes if you wish to do so and enjoy the rest of the day feeling completely relaxed, calm and happy. Thank you for watching.